Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you humbly, giving you thanks and praise. We bow down, O oh Father God, giving you thanks blessing you exalting you for all that you have been to us you have been jehovah jireh jehovah nisi jehovah gabor jehovah rapha jehovah jaira elohim ebenezer you have been everything to us and more you have preserved our lives father you have kept us safe from the evil one father you have given us grace and mercy has been upon our life though we may not be worthy oh father you have found us sufficient enough of your grace and love and we thank you father we thank you we thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us when we turn our back upon you father you walked and you gathered us you held us you kept us you provided for us and we thank you father we thank you we thank you father there's never enough thanks. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Father, we repent for any disobedience, any sins that we have committed, O oh Father. We want to step in on behalf of our ancestors and forefathers and repent, O oh Father. For we have been sinners. We have been operating out of a wicked place, O oh Father. And we want to turn from those wicked ways, O oh Father. You told us in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, If my peach people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then you will hear us from heaven and you will forgive our sin and you will heal our land. O oh Father, we need you to hear us. We need you to forgive our sins, O oh Father. We're seeking you. We're desperate for you. We need you in our lives, O oh Father. We repent. We repent. We repent, O oh Father. We need you at every stage of our lives, Father. We lay down our will for yours, for you have the perfect will for our lives. For you have told us specifically, O oh Father, in Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and to not harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Father, you also said that if we call on you and pray to you, you will listen to us, O oh Father. We are desperately seeking you and we have found you. We pray that you, we are seeking you with all our heart, O oh Father. We need you. Feel us. Hear us. Save us, O oh Father. You said that as long as we seek you with all our heart, Father, you will bring us back from captivity and gather us from all of the nations and places where you have banished us, O oh Father. We need you. Please bring us back and out of captivity, O oh Father. We believe that we have a great work to do. We're ready to lay down our will and follow yours, Father. Lead us, guide us, protect us, enlighten us. We need you. We need your wisdom, O oh Father. We pray for forgiveness, and by faith we believe that you have forgiven us. Cleanse our hearts, O oh Father God, of anything that is not a representation of you, O oh Father. We break every evil curse and every evil covenant off of our life that we came into agreement with while sinning, O oh Father. We're decreeing that the angels are protecting us in all our ways. Father, we're coming to you because we're ready to do what you have called us here to do. We need clarity. What is our purpose, O oh Father, in this world? What is our purpose in the kingdom? What is our purpose in this vessel that you have given unto us? What is our purpose, O oh Father? We need your clarity. We need to know what you need us to do within our relationships, our finances, our businesses. As a mother, as a father, Father, we need you to tell us how do we operate in these roles? We no longer want to be destitute. We have been operating from a poverty mindset for so long, oh Father. We no longer want to be down and out in need of the world. We need you, oh Father. We need you because you're the one and true living God. And we honor you, oh Father. We need you. May we no longer lack anything, oh Father, as we seek you. For you have told us that if we seek you with all our hearts, you will answer us, oh Father. According to Matthew 6.33, you said, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you. Father, we just want to seek you. We know that all of our needs will be provided for. We desire to walk with you, follow you, be directed towards you in all the things that we do. Hearken unto us, oh Father, as we hearken unto you. We obey you. We obey you, O oh Father. We need you. We believe that there's a special calling upon our lives. And we're willing participants, ready to do the work that you have called us here to do. Have mercy upon us for all of the times we were disobedient and turned our backs from what you told us to do. We're ready and right standing with you. 
We give you thanks and praise for all the things that you've done for our lives, the things that you're doing right now in our lives, and the things that you're getting ready to do. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.